Block programming is a source coding structure that ties declarations and statements into groups known as blocks. This allows the statements to be treated as one entity and narrows the scope to help avoid conflicts. As part of the KMC software tools like KMC Connect and KMC Workbench, you can use block programming in the KMC Conquest line of controllers. In this video, we discuss if blocks. If is a decision-making statement with two options for action determined by a condition. A couple quick examples are high or low, or on or off. If the condition is true, the on statement will be executed. If it's not true, the false statement is executed. This statement and the associated clauses are optional. If they are not included, the program simply moves on to read and execute the next program line. Let's take a look at an example. First type if into the search window, then drag the if block to the stage. The condition we are looking for is fan status. We are going to click here and type fan status and use the fan status variable. Notice that it is green. The line and the buttons all match, which means everything looks good. Be sure to put our routine start here. That's the start of our program and there's the end of our program. We are inside of a routine right now. Next, we are going to look for a hot water valve or a preheat valve. Let's use the set command. Now find a chill water valve and use the set command here as well. We'll take the true value so when the fan status is true, we are going to allow both the hot water valve and the chill water valve to work. The program is looking for a value and when it is found, the value is then highlighted. We need to tell the valve what to do when the value is true. So we add our preheat valve PID loop that we've already made to our value because that's what's going to control our valve. We do the same thing for the chill water valve. Now the chill water valve is based on the discharge air temp when you have a fan status of on. So for a fan status of off, I'll copy and paste to use my fault statement to connect those two. My value is going to be 100. So if we don't have fan status, we want the preheat valve to go to 100% and the chill water valve to go to 0% open. Then we will connect to our return block, which will take us back to the main program. And that's the basics on using the if block in block programming. For more information about block programming, please check out our other videos in this series. And to learn more about any of the solutions from the building geniuses at KMC, visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.